and welcome to OBS today. We are especially thrilled, excited, yeah. over the Super Wolf <laughs> Blood Moon. <laughs> excited with excitement today. We are, yes. And, I was going to say the exact same thing. Right? Yeah. Because just like the blog says, if you went to our website today, I printed it, it says it's officially Bible study time. Woo! It is. Yes, it it is. is officially Bible study time. So hey, let us know where, where you're joining us from. I bet some of you are really cold today. Here in the United States, it's freezing. It's so cold. Even down in Florida, Orlando was like 30-something degrees. Oh, really? That, that is really cold down there. Of course, the high is 70 tomorrow there. Well, but yeah. Here in Charlotte, I think we got down to 19. Yeah, in Ohio, it's negative 3 in some negative places. Negative 3? Yeah. Oh, so you guys tell us. What is the weather like where you Ooh, are? I would love fun. to know. And did anybody stay up and see? No. I'm going to get it wrong. The super blood half wolf moon or whatever it was. I know I got it wrong. But the moon got red last night. And I told you I woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah, you did. Ran outside, looked up with my daughter. She had been watching it. And um, it was really God was showing off. I think that's last neat. Night. I just don't tend to stay up. So I was in bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was cool. And you know what? You can like go to YouTube and that's true. NASA, people document it. The so. Astronaut Center, you know, NASA. Perfect. They, like, had live stream of it going, I heard. But oh. Anyway, super cool. Our God is a wonderful and amazing God. But, hey, who's ready to get into It's Not Supposed to Be This Way? I am. I am, and I hear there's a lot of other people yep. all over the world that are excited to join, too. In fact, if you haven't joined us yet, let me invite you. It's not too late. Oh, no. Sign up for It's Not Supposed to Be This Way. You can sign up for the online Bible study. You can still get your book. And even if you don't have your book this week, right. we have the chapters that we're reading this week available for we you. We like to make it easy, so jump right in. We'd yes. love to have you. Yes, we would love to have you. Okay, so... Who hosted our blog today? Who was our writer? Yes! <laughs> Sweet Kendra is kicking us off today on the Proverbs 31 Online Bible Studies blog, letting us know it is officially Bible study time. It is. Today's the day. So what does that mean to you? Like the start, specifically this study, um, because we haven't, we haven't had Lisa Turker. She's the author, yes. in case you didn't know. But um, we haven't done a Lisa book in... I think two years. Two years. Yeah. That's the longest we've ever gone without doing a study by the president of Proverbs 31 Ministries, Lisa Turkers. So it's officially Bible study time. Yes. You've worked really hard on this study. Yes, the so team has. So what does this mean to you? It means a lot, actually. Um, there's just a lot of like energy and excitement around it, and it just means that there's going to be healing and hope coming yes. to women all over the world. Yes. So it's the start of something really big, yes. and I couldn't be more excited. Right. Same here, same yes. here. And one thing I want to tell you guys a lot of times people will say, well, we're studying a book. So is this a book study or a Bible study? Honey, it is a Bible study. Honey. And let me tell you why, okay? Anyone who says it's a book study, it means you're just reading the book, okay? That's a good because point. we are giving you a lot more than just a book study. Right. First of all, I think more than any book Lisa has written, there's more scripture in this one. More scripture. And more diving into the scripture in this one than I think. This may not yeah. be true, except for Finding I Am. Right, of that, course. that's a Bible yes. study. Yeah. Um, than any of her other topical books. Also, you guys, every week we're going to give you this little resource called A Week at a Glance. And yes. I believe inside that resource is a Bible study companion. The Bible study companion actually is linked in today's blog. We'll, we'll get every Monday go. and Thursday. Okay, yes. Bible study companion. That is your tool to go take what you're reading here, yes. but then go into your Bible. Opening up your Bible, getting into your Bible or your app, Bible, whatever you choose to use, getting into the scripture so that you can know the truth for yourself. Yes. Because when you know the truth and live the truth, it changes everything. It certainly does. We believe that with all our heart here. Okay, so you go to today's blog, you're going to see a video with Kendra yes. and uh, me and Lisa Turkhurst. And you're going to see that that video is 27 minutes long, and you're going to go, what? Who has time for Their that? Their <laughs> videos are usually a lot shorter. Well, guess what? We had the author of It's Not Supposed to Be This Way, and so we did not want to waste our time. That's good. And so Lisa has some great words for you, and we did something new with our videos we this did. time. Kendra, tell them about that. Yes, yeah, so we know that video is very long, and I'm sure you guys are on the go and have a lot going on. So we provided you right below the video 
the audio. Yes. So you can listen to it in your car, just like you would a podcast or on Spotify. It is audio for you to listen in. Right. That is great. So on your way to work, on your way to pick up the kids, right. sitting in a line somewhere. You don't have time to watch. You yes. have time to listen. Listen to that audio. And there's also a um, transcription. Yeah. You can get closed that. captioning if you yeah. would like as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Look closed captioning on the videos. That's right. Okay. So you guys, um, like I was saying in the book, Lisa does take you into the scripture, and at the end of every single chapter, there's this part called going to the well, and we talk about it in the video, yes. but you don't want to miss that part. A lot of times, if you're just reading, you want to get to the next chapter because this chapter was so good, but I really want to encourage you to pause. Mm. Don't rush through this book. Read the chapter. If you, if you, wanna, if you see like a, a verse mentioned and you want to look it up yourself so you can underline it in your Bible, and I always like to put the date by oh, a verse I, like I read, that. and if I am reading a book, the book that I'm reading. So this is a long title, so we only put the initials around here. We it's do. Like I N S T B T W. Yes. So you can just put that, and you'll always know. Wow, I remember reading that. I think that's kind of cool. But don't skip that go to the well part, and we tell you about it in the video, so I'm not going to go into detail. But that truly is where um, you're you're going to be able to go a little bit deeper into God's word, and it's going to begin to be in your heart. That's good. And so don't miss that. And um, I mentioned it before, but if you ever get lost, go to the Week at a Glance. We're, we, it's in today's blog. Yeah. Click that. It has everything you need to know pretty Reading much for plan. the whole week. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's your one-stop shop to everything online. Bible yes, ma'am. So check that out. All right, you guys. So, Jesse, are there any really cool spots in the country or people? I had a lot of, like, negative numbers. So there was, like, a negative six, a negative ten. There was a six that felt like negative nine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen like, yeah, look at the weather and then if it's a weather app, you scroll down and it tells you what it feels like, like either with oh. the wind chill or whatever. Right. So how do you right. keep warm? Okay. We're 23 here in Matthews. 23 right. degrees 23. here. So how do you keep warm? Bundle up. Me? Yeah. Oh, I just put on more clothes. Okay. But usually <laughs> because we don't have chilly, chilly weather yeah. a lot, like if all I'm doing is going from my house to the car, from my run. car inside, yeah, I Me just too. run. But <laughs> today I wore a, a big coat. Yeah, I did wear a walk coat today. A while to get yes. here. So. <laughs> yeah, my parking space is down the road today. So anyway, all right, you guys, we are ready to start strong, and we yes. want you to join us. What are you hoping to get? My gracious, I just saw negative 45 degrees on Instagram. What? Okay, you're staying inside, right? <laughs> Just don't go anywhere. You're staying inside. You, it was like Wyoming, I think, or you Wisconsin. You stay in and do Bible study. You yes. Just go ahead and call in and say Get you're not you some make hot it tea, today. some hot cocoa. Yeah. Woo, boy. <laughs> Bundle up, okay? That's crazy. But um, I don't even know what I was saying. No, we're but, very excited for you guys to dig into this book. It totally and got experience me. Experience transformation because yes. we believe God's word this does really change everything. That's right. So. And for those of you who have picked up this book, um, and you are just hoping and praying that this book will have something that will maybe um, give you some hope. It'll give you something to hang on to. You're looking for a reason yeah. to get through the circumstance that you're going through instead of just giving up. Then I want to pray for you right now. And I want to tell you, don't give up. Start reading. Don't rush the process. Take what God has for you through um, His Word, the Bible, mm -hmm. and get involved in our community here. Y'all comment on the blog, okay? Yeah. And when you see someone hurting on the blog or you see something, pray for them. Reply to them. Let them know you're, you're thinking and praying for them. We want you to get involved yes, we do. Um, in that community. And we have some great leaders who are going to be leading you through the study in That's that right. community as well. Yes. All right. I want to pray. Perfect. And then we... We'll tell you to have a nice day. <laughs> All right. Let's pray, everybody. Dear Heavenly Father, um, God, I want to thank you so much for every single person that you have brought to this study. For the people who follow us on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. For the people who are a member of our blog community. Um, for the people who are a member of our teaching series community and our Facebook community group. Lord, um, I just pray for all of them. Lord, I pray that you will show them. You will show them that through you, through your word, transformation is possible. Mm -hmm. Restoration is definitely possible. Peace in the middle of a circumstance, even when things are shaky all around you, they have a strong anchor to hold on to mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. And he is here always and available always. We don't ever have to go looking for him. He's right here. He is our hope. 
Lord, that you see them all. I, so much the, the story in, in the New Testament about um, the, the shepherd and the, one, the 100 sheep and one gets away. And, and so Jesus leaves the 99 to go looking for the, the one. The shepherd leaves the 99 to go looking for the one. And that's exactly what you would do for us. Mm -hmm. You're going to go looking for us when we're lost. And so, Lord, I pray for any, any woman out there who just feels like she's lost. She doesn't know what the future holds. She's living in a disappointing circumstance. Um, God, I pray that you would let her know you're coming after her. You're coming after that one because you love her that much. Lord, thank you for Lisa Turkhurst. I lift her up to you today, God. Um, I just I celebrate her. And Lord, I pray that you will just give her blessings and protect her, protect our teams, our volunteer teams, um, our participants in this study, and our staff um, as we get closer to you. Um, and Lord, we know there's going to be trials in each day, but mm -hmm. we're going to band together. And we're going to trust you to get us through whatever it is that we have going on. Mm -hmm. We love you, Jesus, so much. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, have a fabulous day. And thank you so much for joining us. Bye.